uh, I never, I only auditioned once for someone, that was Agnes DeMille. And that was because of Red Roses. I'd gotten a lot of press in Red Roses. Uh, you know, it was just a three minute dance. It was so sure. It's not a musical, it's a straight play, a beautiful play. But I'm on stage about that long. It got a lot of attention from the critics, but it only ran about six months. And uh, Agnes was going to come in with Juno and the Paycock, which was a Sean O'Casey play, and they're going to make it into a musical. So Agnes had Jemsey Delap as her assistant. Jemsey Delap called me and said, Agnes would like to look at you. She's doing Juno, and she wants to see you. And Agnes had a play, a musical on Broadway. I can't, I think it was Goldilocks. And we had to audition on that stage of Goldilocks. And it had tracks all over the floor for the sets. And there was about six of us that day. Glenn Tetley was one, myself, and Agnes sat way in the back. We did all kinds of things in the morning, and then Genevieve came up and said, now you can have a break, and Agnes wants you to come back. Agnes stole like crazy, and she wants you to do a little two-minute something of your favorite things. See, Agnes always looked for people who could quite rest. And so we had to make a little something up. And we, she says, well, when you come back, make a little something, and then Agnes wants to look at you again. Well, I did my little two-minute whatever it was. And then Jim they came up and said, oh, Paul, Agnes Rhea really likes you, but, you know, you don't look Irish. I said, I know that. She could have told me that at 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Agnes always had people who, could have, who were from modern day. Sybil Shear gave her an up. In her book, Dance the Piper, she mentioned Sybil. She used to pay Sybil a few dollars an hour, and Sybil would improvise for her. See, And, the, and, and once Patsy Birch, who was a Graham dancer, was doing it, was working with Agnes, and Patsy said, you want to make some money? We got $6 an hour to go to the studio, and Agnes watched us, and we just had to improvise. You see, she didn't hire any of us, you see, but she wanted to see. You know, no, Agnes, the tourists there, you'd say, he'd say, be careful, if Agnes is in the building, shut the door. He said, she knows how to steal, and just give it the right twist, and it's real popular. <laughs>